are you and where are you from? My name is Zita Holborn and I'm um, a multidisciplinary artist and a campaigner on human rights and equality. And I'm based in London in the UK. Tell us a bit about your practice. What do you do? I um, campaign for equality, freedom and justice and human rights through arts and activism. So as a visual artist and um, a designer, but also as a poet and as a writer and uh, a vocalist, I also curate art, art exhibitions. I'm the um, founder and the curator of the Roots Culture Identity Art Exhibition, which was established seven years ago and is supported by the Trade Union Congress and um, it's uh, an exhibition that was established to provide a platform, particularly for young black and minority ethnic artists who face discrimination in um, the arts and culture sector to provide a platform um, for, for their art and opportunities to exhibit. I'm also um, part of the UNESCO Coalition of Artists for the General History of Africa. And um, next question, how do you do it? So um, my art practice is currently in my home. Um, obviously, we're all in uh, lockdown and um, impacted by the pandemic. And um, I produce paintings, acrylic on canvas often. Um, but I also do a lot of digital art, um, which I create to um, promote campaigns that I'm involved in for justice, equality and human rights and um, freedom. Who or what inspires your practice? I'd say that it's the things that I've talked about. So. Um, as a trade union and community activist and human rights campaigner, I'm involved in um, a range of different campaigns and um, those events and those activities I'm involved in often provide um, the inspiration for my work, mm. but I'm also inspired by um, a Caribbean art form, the Impressionist period, of art and um, by everyday experiences. Currently, I've been producing quite a lot of work, which is responding to um, the Black Lives Matter movement and also to the um, impacts of coronavirus on all of us and how that's impacted on our way of living. Um, during the pandemic, I've been creating daily um, uh, art virtually um, as a visual diary to document what's happening on a, a daily basis and what's happened during the pandemic to all of us. And um, the next question is, um, what are you exhibiting at Distance 2021? Um, I have three pieces in the exhibition, two are digital pieces and one is a painting, which is acrylic and ink on canvas. Um, and those three pieces speak to um, the experiences that um, those people who are impacted by the Windrush scandal, I don't know how many people watching this will know what the Windrush scandal is, but I would recommend if you Google it, you'll find out quite uh, a lot there. But it's about a group of people who migrated to the UK from the Caribbean, but other countries as well, in the 1950s and 60s who um, were then targeted for deportation many decades later after they had um, worked all their lives in the UK and raised children and grandchildren. Um, and so I have one piece calling for justice for the Windrush generation, which is a, a digital piece. Another piece, which is speaking to the experience of those um, who are forced to um, uh, migrate because of the impacts of climate change, because of persecution, because of conflict and poverty, um, their experience. And I have another piece, which is the painting, um, the first two are digital, which is entitled The Human Cost. 
and um, that's about the uh, disproportionate impacts of coronavirus and the fact that so many people have lost their lives and died and how that's impacted on the people left behind and families but also impacted on in all different ways on our lives and ability to to um, live and keep afloat and um, how the next question is how does it link to the theme of distance um, it links to the theme of distance because when you're torn apart when you're separated when you have to flee for your life um, when you're um, forcibly removed from a country or even when you're locked down and unable to see your loved ones that creates an issue of distance um, it's about the distance of traveling through migration but it's also about the distance of being separated um, mentally and spiritually and physically from the people you love um, and also about for those who are deported um, being so far away from loved ones but also the struggle of how would you ever get back in terms of having to effectively launch a campaign for justice for yourself and why did you apply for distance 2021 um, because the theme really spoke to me I really like the idea um, the ethos of this um, exhibition it was the first time that I'd heard about it Obviously, it's a shame that it's a digital exhibition, but that's where we are at the moment. It would be lovely to come together with other artists and to be able to um, connect uh, physically in uh, another geographic area and to be able to travel and all of that. But we can't do that, that at the moment. But I thought that um, the theme of distance was really apt for the current times that we're in. And I felt that I had um, art that really spoke to that theme. And where can people find out more? Um, so my visual um, sort of daily diaries are on my Instagram account, and that's at Zeta Barrack UK on Instagram. So at Zeta Z I T A B A R A C um, UK. And um, I also have a Facebook page, which is Zeta Holborn Poet Artist, um, a website, which is info at zetaholborn.com. So that's spelled Z-I-T-A-H-O-L-B-O-U-R-N-E.com. And um, I also have a blog site where I put more up-to-date things on, um, which is www.zetaholborn.blogspot. Dot com and um, my Twitter handle is at Barrack UK um, at B A R A C U K and that's my campaigning organisation Twitter handle which campaigns for justice and race equality. So that's me and I believe that I've answered all of the um, the questions for this video. Thanks thanks very much for um, listening to me and watching it. <laughs>